2025 is shaping up to be a dream for superhero fans, with big Marvel and DC releases on the way. After the genre's massive rise, people are debating what's next. Will it slow down post-endgame or keep reaching new heights? Either way, it's clear the spotlight is still on superheroes, with RDJ coming back and DCU kicking off its Chapter 1. The upcoming release slate is stacked with potential, and I'm hyped for what's coming. Show no sign of slowing down. Captain America Brave New World, February 14, 2025. Sam Wilson officially steps into the role of Captain America in Captain America Brave New World, the second-to-last movie in MCU's Phase 5. This marks a new chapter for Cap, after Captain America 4 was announced at the end of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where we saw Sam, played by Anthony Mackie, take on the shield. After Steve Rogers retired at the end of Avengers Endgame, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier focused on Sam grappling with whether or not to take up the mantle and continue Steve's legacy. Now. Brave New World gives Sam the chance to prove why he's the right person for the job, as he faces off against some big threats, including the MCU's Red Hulk. The first Captain America Brave New World trailer dropped on July 12, 2024, nearly two years after the movie was announced. Marvel gave fans an official breakdown of the trailer, adding in some new story details. It starts with a tense White House meeting, where Sam Wilson faces off with newly elected President Thaddeus Ross. This is Harrison Ford's first appearance in the MCU, taking over the role from the late William Hurt. Ross and Sam have a bit of a past. Back when Ross was Secretary of State, he had Sam and the other Avengers arrested during Captain America Civil War. Now as President, Ross wants to work with Sam, aiming to make Captain America an official military role. But things get complicated when Sam gets caught up in an international incident, with retired super soldier Isaiah Bradley, played by Carl Lumbly, being the main suspect. The trailer ends with Sam in a dangerous chase and a showdown, teasing the arrival of Red Hulk. The trailer announcement also gave fans some exciting casting details, hinting at what's in store with new and returning characters. One major reveal was Shira Haas playing a new version of Ruth Bat Seraph with Sabra now reimagined as a former Black Widow. During Marvel's panel at the 2024 San Diego Comic-Con, they dropped even more info about Captain America Brave New World. Fans got a first look at President Ross's transformation into Red Hulk, and the introduction of adamantium into the MCU. In this universe, adamantium is explained to be made from the bodies of Celestials. Since adamantium is such a crucial material in Marvel, this opens up big possibilities for the MCU. It's especially important for heroes and villains, like Wolverine, whose story revolves around it. This development could potentially pave the way for an Earth-616 version of Logan, though it might not happen while Hugh Jackman is still playing Wolverine in the main movies. The San Diego Comic-Con also saw the confirmation that Giancarlo Esposito will play Sidewinder in the upcoming MCU movie. The leader of the Serpent Society in the comics, Sidewinder is an especially notable figure to bring into the Captain America Brave New World cast, and cements the idea of the Serpent Society being in the MCU, potentially paving the way for future appearances from the villainous faction. Unlike MCU Phase 4, Phase 5 seems to have a more connected storyline running through all the films. Phase 5, which is the middle act of the multiverse saga, kicked off with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in 2023, and Captain America Brave New World comes in toward the end, making it a key piece of the puzzle, especially since it's centered around one of the MCU's biggest roles. With Brave New World being one of the last four movies leading up to Avengers Doomsday, its release is even more important for setting the stage. Since the movie's plot involves President Ross trying to convince Sam Wilson to reform the Avengers, it could mark the start of the new multiverse saga Avengers, or at least, lay the groundwork for what's to come in Avengers Doomsday. One of the biggest surprises in Brave New World is the return of Tim Blake Nelson as Samuel Stearns, aka The Leader, who hasn't been seen since 2008's The Incredible Hulk, where his transformation into the villain was teased. Another exciting comeback is Liv Tyler reprising her role as Betty Ross, first announced in March 2023 by The Hollywood Reporter. She last played Betty in The Incredible Hulk as the love interest of Edward Norton's Hulk, making her return all the more intriguing. Also, Joaquin Torres, played by Danny Ramirez, will be back as Sam's sidekick, following his comic book arc by becoming the new Falcon. Shira Haas is taking on a reimagined version of Ruth Bat Seraph, 
known as Sabra, a mutant agent of Mossad from the comics. Zosha Rockmore is also joining the cast, though her role is still unknown. Brave New World was originally titled New World Order, which is also the name of the first episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where Sam Wilson eventually becomes Captain America in the finale. This connection makes sense, since Malcolm Spellman, the showrunner of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, is also the head writer for this movie. Yeah, so? So, someone wants us gone. Thunderbolts, May 2nd, 2025. There was a plan to bring together some remarkable heroes, but the Thunderbolts, well, they're not exactly those heroes. Still, they're the best the MCU has to offer right now. In this new MCU team-up film, stories from Black Widow, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Ant-Man and the Wasp come together as a group of anti-heroes unites for the greater good. Thanks to the newly released trailer, we finally have a clearer idea of what their journey will look like. Thunderbolts has been pretty mysterious, and fans are still trying to figure out what the asterisk in the title is all about. While we don't have all the answers just yet, the trailer gives us some major clues about what could be coming in the MCU. The footage is similar to what was shown at the recent San Diego Comic-Con and D23 Expo, but now we can really break it down and dig into the big details it reveals. Black Widow may have had its ups and downs, but one thing almost all Marvel fans can agree on is that Yelena Belova and Red Guardian were standout additions to the MCU. So it makes total sense that the Thunderbolts trailer kicks off with their reunion. Even though they're not actually related, Yelena and Alexei still see each other as daughter and father, with Alexei trying to stay upbeat for her despite his not-so-ideal situation. There's also a rumor that Melina Vostikov, another Black Widow co-star, might return in Thunderbolts, though she doesn't appear in the trailer. Florence Pugh has hinted that we'll see a very different side of Yelena in this film, compared to Black Widow and Hawkeye. Yelena mentions feeling drifted and without purpose, with her job leaving her unfulfilled, even though it does involve a fair amount of killing. With two Black Widow stars reuniting in Thunderbolts, it's only right that two stars from The Falcon and the Winter Soldier are back together as well. While Sam Wilson is off investigating a government conspiracy in Captain America Brave New World, his frenemy Bucky Barnes is working behind the scenes. It looks like the former brainwashed assassin has landed a government job, but we all know he'll be putting his Winter Soldier skills to good use before long. Also returning from the Disney Plus series is John Walker, who we last saw as U.S. agent. After starting out as the next Captain America, Walker fell from grace and became a disgraced war criminal. Now, he's fully embraced his mercenary side, and on top of all that, he's also become a dad. Yelena's seemingly straightforward job takes a wild turn when she finds herself in a mysterious bunker and suddenly gets shot at by John Walker. Things get even crazier when two semi-reformed villains join the mix, Taskmaster from Black Widow and Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Both characters have new costumes that are more in line with their comic book versions. The four anti-heroes engage in an epic fight, but their clash is interrupted by a guy named Bob. Yelena quickly realizes they were all brought to the bunker for a reason, likely by the same person. Her suspicions are confirmed when they all discover they're trapped in the bunker with no easy way out. So who exactly is Bob? Spoiler alert, we have a pretty solid guess about this mysterious character. Bob is likely short for Robert Reynolds, better known as Sentry, a super-powered character who has a dark secret lurking within him. The Thunderbolts trailer almost confirms Bob's true identity. At one point, he appears with bullet holes all over his clothes, yet his skin shows no signs of injury. Plus, there's a brief shot that features Sentry's logo later in the trailer. It'll be intriguing to see whether he ends up being a friend or a foe to the Thunderbolts. Let's hope for the former. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus, appears to be the true puppet master in Thunderbolts, continuing her enigmatic role in the MCU since Phase 4 began. Her character remains shrouded in mystery, with a main detail known being her past marriage to Agent Everett Ross, as revealed in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. She's being positioned as the anti-Nick Fury, wielding considerable power, influence, and resources. The trailer showcases Valentina enjoying a dinner party surrounded by notable artifacts from MCU history, including Loki's scepter from the earlier Avengers films. This could hint at her involvement with a museum dedicated to trophies from some of the MCU's most formidable villains. 
Additionally, it seems Valentina might be the new owner of Avengers Tower, which was sold in Spider-Man Homecoming. While this hasn't been officially confirmed, the layout of the penthouse seen in the trailer closely resembles the iconic Avengers landmark. In the closing moments of the Thunderbolts trailer, a dramatic scene unfolds as Yelena, Red Guardian, and John Walker are unexpectedly pursued by Bucky Barnes. Walker's shocked reaction mirrors that of the audience when Bucky opens fire on his future teammates. Notably, Bucky employs the explosive disc device he used in Captain America the Winter Soldier, raising concerns about his state of mind. This intense moment could suggest that Bucky might be struggling with his past, possibly regressing to his brainwashed programming. The trailer hints at deeper themes of identity and control, leaving fans to wonder about Bucky's journey and the potential conflicts within the Thunderbolts team. Since I was a kid. Superman, July 11th, 2025. James Gunn's take on co-heading DC Studios since November 2022 has really shaken things up for DC's cinematic universe. His new film Superman, originally called Superman Legacy, is dropping in 2025 and will be the first solo Superman flick since Man of Steel over 10 years ago. Gunn is pulling double duty by writing and directing this one, introducing a younger Superman for a fresh perspective on the classic character and laying down a new base for the DC Universe. Fans are buzzing about David Corrin's wet playing Superman and Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane, setting the stage for some exciting storytelling ahead. The film plans to dive into Superman's character in a way that connects with today's audiences while still honoring his legacy. As Gunn expands this new universe, fans can expect a blend of timeless themes and creative storytelling that will reinvigorate this beloved superhero. With this new direction, Superman is set to be a key player in DC's future, promising to bring thrilling narratives and character arcs that fit Gunn's vision for the franchise. Nicholas Holt, known for The Menu, will take on the role of Lex Luthor. Joining him are Nathan Fillion from The Rookie as Green Lantern Guy Gardner, Skylar Gazondo from The Righteous Gemstones as Jimmy Olsen, the photographer for The Daily Planet, Wendell Pierce from The Wire as Perry White, the editor-in-chief, and Isabella Merced from Dora and the Lost City of Gold as Hawkgirl. The cast also features Anthony Kerrigan from Barry as Metamorpho, Maria Gabriela Di Faria from Moody's as Angela Spica, the engineer, Eddie Cathagy from For All Mankind as Mr. Terrific, and Sarah Sampeo as Lex Luthor's henchwoman, Eve Teschmacher. I can't wait for this one, and Superman will fly into theaters on July 11, 2025. He also said... Blade, November 7, 2025. While there isn't a ton of information out yet about a new Blade movie, we do have some key details to share. Let's start with the title. There have been whispers that it could be called Blade the Vampire Slayer, but that seems unlikely given its similarity to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. For now, it looks like Marvel is sticking with just Blade, similar to the 1998 film starring Wesley Snipes. There's also talk of a potential subtitle like Rise of the Midnight Suns, especially since there are rumors that the film might introduce or even team up with the Midnight Suns towards the end. We'll have to wait and see how everything unfolds once the Blade movie is finished. This project has had a bit of a bumpy ride when it comes to directors. Bassam Tariq, known for Mogul Mowgli, was initially on board to direct, but he eventually left the project while still remaining credited as an executive producer. Jan Demange, who directed 71 and worked on Lovecraft Country, was then announced as the new director, but he has also stepped away, leaving Marvel on the hunt for someone new. Despite these behind-the-scenes shakeups, the film is shaping up to be an exciting addition to the MCU. There have been a lot of changes on the writing side, too. Stacey Osei Kufour was originally set to write the script, but was later replaced by Bo DeMaio. The script has gone through several revisions, with drafts from notable writers like Michael Starbury, Nick Pizzolatto, the creator of True Detective, and Michael Green, who worked on Logan. Currently, Marvel veteran Eric Pearson, who also contributed to Black Widow and the Fantastic Four, is leading the script writing efforts. On the crew side, Damian Garcia is taking care of the cinematography, while Lee Folsom Boyd is in charge of editing the film. Serafin is overseeing casting, Stefania Sella is working on production design, and Ruth E. Carter is designing the costumes. With such a talented lineup, this film is shaping up to be a significant addition to the MCU. 
As for the cast, Mahershala Ali was the first actor announced for the new Blade movie, and since then, some intriguing names have joined. Award-winning actor Delroy Lindo, known for his roles in The Five Bloods, The Cider House Rules, Gone in 60 Seconds and The Harder They Fall, is on board in an undisclosed role. However, his involvement in Ryan Coogler's untitled vampire project at Warner Brothers has raised questions about his status in the Marvel film. There are also rumors that Anthony Starr from The Boys might play Dracula, but nothing has been confirmed yet. Aaron Pierre, who was initially set to be part of the cast, is no longer attached to the project. On a more exciting note, Mia Goth, who impressed in X and Pearl, will also be part of the cast, though her role is still unknown. Given her standout performances, it'll be fascinating to see what she brings to the MCU. When we think about characters who could show up in the new Blade movie, it's hard not to consider big names like Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange or Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch. Both are part of Marvel's Midnight Suns, a group of supernatural heroes in the comics. With their ties to the mystical side of the Marvel Universe, it would be awesome to see if there's a chance for a Midnight Suns reunion in the MCU. Considering how things ended for Scarlet Witch in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, it would be pretty cool to see her make an appearance in Blade. And how fun would it be if Deadpool had a cameo? Reynolds played Hannibal King in Blade Trinity, so you know Deadpool would throw in some hilarious references or jokes about that role. Of course, this is all just speculation for now. Blade has a ton of characters to choose from, like Deacon Frost, the vampire who helped create Blade, and his main villain Dracula. So, we'll have to wait and see which characters actually make it into the film. When Blade was first announced at SDCC 2019, Kevin Feige mentioned that it would be part of Phase 5 of the MCU, which means it would come after the events of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, as well as other Phase 4 changes in movies like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and the upcoming Fantastic Four. But now that the film's release is pushed to Phase 6, it will actually come out after Fantastic Four. There's a possibility that Blade could be set in the past, similar to how Marvel approached Black Widow and Captain Marvel. This could change how the movie fits into the MCU timeline. Right now, we don't have any official word on the exact setting or timeline, but hopefully we'll learn more as production gets rolling. In February 2021, Kevin Feige mentioned at the Television Critics Association panel that Marvel plans to stick with the PG-13 rating for most of its films, except for Deadpool 3. He pointed out that Marvel has found ways to tell their stories within a PG-13 framework and hasn't really felt the need to go beyond that. However, he also shared with Black Tree TV that they've been trying to figure out the right approach for Blade, emphasizing the importance of not rushing it. He noted that previous Blade movies were rated R, which fits the character, so it's crucial to get this one right. Well, that's it. Which upcoming superhero movie are you most excited about, and what characters do you hope to see more of? Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest update. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.